Let's start with this. What is sin? Let's start from the beginning. What is sin? Your human nature, specifically. First off. First off, because you said a lot. You said that Jesus Christ came for the sinners, right? So let's break it down. A sinner is what? Somebody that break what? That commits sin, right? So let's see what sin is. Read that. First John chapter 1, verse 3. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Let's say that, read it again. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. So sin is the breaking of God's laws. Right? So a sinner is one that break God's law. So, next question. Who was given the laws? Who was given the law to God? Moses. Okay, and Moses gave it to whom? Uh, Moses gave it uh, to Because the question is, what is sin? Sin is the breaking of the law, bro. Did you know that? Sin is the breaking of the law. So now, the brother adds that Jesus Christ came for the sinners. So who are the sinners? Those who break the law, right? That's right. So who was given God's law? That's the question at hand. Let's read this. 147 and uh, 19. Psalms 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. Bring it out. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Israel are these brothers right here. The 12 tribes of Israel. All right? God gave his laws to these people and these people only. Let's prove that. Read on. He has not dealt so with any nation. He has done what? Dealt so with any nation. So God's laws only applies to who? The nation of Israel. That's right. right. So guess what? The children of Israel are the only ones that can break God's laws. So those are the sinners. So who did Jesus Christ come for? Let's go over to uh, Matthew 1 and 21. Let's break this thing down first. Matthew 1 and 21. Let's see who Christ came for. All right? And then we're going to jump to um, chapter 15 and 24. Let's break this thing all the way down. Read. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Uh-huh. And she, and she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus. So Mary was going to have what? Jesus Christ. Read on. For he, for he shall save his people. He said that he shall save his people. Now, his people refers to who? His nation of people. His kindred, right? His bloodline of people, right? Which are who? Israel. Who? Israel. Israel. So we Jesus Christ came for the sinners, which are who? The nation of Israel, right? So, so we are the sinners. We are the sinners. He has now dealt so with any other nation. Who verse is that in? Tell him what verse that is. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. That's the New Testament. That's the New Testament, right? Now, let me get you some more. Yeah. For, for he shall save his people, his people from their sins. From their sins. It's exclusive. It's exclusive to this nation of people. Because that was given God's law. We're clear with that. We're clear, right? Now, let's talk about repentance. Because you said something about repentance, right? Yes. Let's, let's go more up into this. Forty-six. All right. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. but there is no man that sinneth not. So who sins? What is sin? First of all, make sure you follow me. Transgression. So who? This is breaking the law, right? Yeah. Who was giving God's law? Uh, who was giving God's law? Uh, Jacob. Jacob, the nation of Israel, right? Yeah. Brother, you got that? Right here, security. You got that? God's laws is for who? The nation of Israel, right? Read that part again for me. For they, if they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not. So King Solomon is saying if the nation of Israel as a nation sin against him or break God's laws as a nation, read on. Say, for there is no man that sinneth not. Meaning what? Everybody's going to sin. The nation, everybody will sin. So King Solomon is saying they will sin. Okay, read. And so be angry with them. So guess what? When we break God's laws, the Most High is angry with us. That's right. How? 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 Read. First Kings chapter 8. Start at um, verse 46. 
we don't. And deliver them to the enemy. This say that they saw God would deliver them. Who did them? The Israelites are breaking God's laws until the enemies. Right. So now we got to figure out who are God's enemies. Who are the Israelites' enemies? Y'all know? So, Take a stab at it. Who? Now who else? That's it. Nation. 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 Okay. That's what Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 5 and 9. That's what it is. Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. Let's explain who the enemies are. No. Okay, because God said that if we broke his laws as a nation of people, that he would send us to our enemies. So we got to figure out who are the nation of Israel enemies. Read. Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. Read. Also, I said, uh -huh. it is not good that ye do, uh -huh. ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God? Of the fear of our God, which is what? God's laws. Read. God's laws. Because of the reproach of the heathen. The who? The heathen. The who? The heathen. Which are who? The heathens are who? Nations. The nations. Be more specific. The nations as in uh, what? Uh, uh, outside outside nations, Israel. Right? We're a nation, the nation, right? uh, heathen nation. The heathen nation meaning any nation outside, outside of this nation of Israel. All of those are our enemies. Okay, read. For of the heathen, uh -huh. our enemies. So the heathen are our enemies. All these these nations outside of Israel are our enemies. Just Chapter five, verse nine. Okay, so let's go back to First Kings eight. Now we established who our enemies were. Every other nation outside of the nation of Israel, those are our enemies. It's not just the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab, okay, the East Indians. All these nations are our enemies. Read 1 Kings 8 and 46. 47. No, 46 again, I'm sorry. 1 Kings chapter 8, yeah. verse 46. Uh huh. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. but there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, uh -huh. and deliver them to the enemy, uh -huh. so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. So it say that the Lord would be angry with his children, the nation of Israel, and do what? Carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. So how do we get here, brother? Anybody? Uh, how do we as a nation get here? By slave ships. By slave ships, right? By whom? Like who did it to us? The African, uh -huh. uh, the nation, the Grecian. Okay, okay. Who tell who? Those are our enemies. Yeah, the nation. Who brought here to their land? Did we leave yet? Nope. Did we leave yet? So we are still in the land of our enemies, right? Pick it up. Right, Timmy? Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Because many of us thinking that we free. But how so? You said even white Christians? You said that? White Christians. White Christians. Christianity, period. Okay. Uh, those who call themselves They call themselves Christians. Okay. Let me ask you something. What does Christian mean? Uh, what is that? Acts 18? Verse 3? The Christians? Antichrist. What are Christians? What are Christians? Christ. Christ's life. Okay. Right? Christ's life. Don't worry about it. You found it? Yeah. All right, read it. Acts chapter 11 verse 26 and when he was found and sorry and when he had found him he brought him unto Antioch and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church uh -huh. and taught much people and the disciples the who the disciples the disciples were who uh, the followers of Christ which were who Israelites okay read were called Christians who? Christians. So they are the real Christians. That's right. The Israelites are the real Christians. That's right. The white man has nothing to do with these scriptures whatsoever. That's right. All right? You get that? You get that, brother? Followers of Christ are the Israelites. All right? Now, let's go now, back to 1 Kings. All right? Read that. Verse 1 Kings, tw verse 8, uh -huh. chapter 40. 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. So while we are here, what must we do? Bethink themselves. What does that word mean? Bethink themselves. What does that mean? Think that. Think of not doing simple things. You gotta remember your ways. Remember your heritage. Why? Why must yeah. we remember our heritage? 
project myself to the middle. So we can get out of what we in now. Exactly. Okay, but how do we do so? Let's go to By keeping the laws. Law. Right? Let's get the issue first. Okay? God said that we must be we think ourselves, right? Let's get that. Jeremiah um, 17 and verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. you know? And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So God said that you will what? Discontinue from your heritage. What is that? That's Jeremiah chapter 17 and 4. Israel will discontinue from their heritage. Now, what is the heritage, bro? What is the heritage? Um, your forefathers. That's your heritage. That's nationality. Yeah, your nationality. Your nationality. Okay, but give me more. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's help you out. A heritage is what? Your land, your language, the way you dress, the way you eat, the way you deal with one another. That's your heritage. Because guess what? The Arabs, they got their heritage. You can, you can distinguish an Arab from us. Why? Because they roll it in a, um, a certain heritage that they have been taught from their forefathers. So what's ours? Give me Sirach. 24 and 23. Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. This is, this is going to explain your true heritage. Because guess what? We have, we have learned the heritage of who? Our enemies. We celebrate birthdays. What else? Thanksgiving. Christmas. Anniversaries. That has nothing to do with us. Right. There is nowhere in the scriptures whatsoever. We have found, we have, we are following the ways of our what? Oppressors. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all get that? They did. They did. But why did they do that? Because God allowed them to do so. You see what I'm saying? Because we broke God's laws, so we was brought here. Okay? And he took away our heritage. You understand what I'm saying? No, you should not. We don't get to that. Alright? Let's hold that thought. Remember that for me, alright? Read that. Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus, uh -huh. chapter 24. Verse 23. Read out. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Which is what? The Holy Bible. Okay. Read on. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. For a what? For inheritance. So the law of Moses is a what? Heritance. Uh huh. Unto the congregations of Jacob. Of who? Of Jacob. No, Esau. Of Jacob. All nations. Of Jacob. You see that? The heritage is only given to the nation of Israel. You understand? And the Israelites. All right. What's that? All right. Now, bro. Right here. Now, come back. You said something about birthdays, right? right. You celebrate your birthday? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? All I know. That's all you know, right? Now, let me ask you something. Give me Sirach uh, 33 and verse 7. Sirach 33 and verse 7. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33, verse 7. Uh-huh. Why does one day excel another? So God is saying, why does one day excel another? Right? Because, read on, read. When, as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. So every day has the same amount of, of sunlight and nighttime, right? So God is saying, or Sirach is saying, why does one day excel another? Read. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished. It say, by the knowledge of the Lord, there was what? Distinguished. So, what is the knowledge? Anybody know? What's the knowledge of the Lord? The commandment. Correct. We write about that. It is the commandment. Don't worry about it. Now, it say that the commandment is what distinguishes what day is holier than others. Right? So, we have certain days like what? The Passover. That is a day that excels um, um, another. You got the Sabbath. You got the new moon. You celebrate those days? You got to explain with the Passover Eve. Okay, we'll get there. But let's stick on the birthdays for now. All right, read that again. Sirach chapter 33. Sirach, the book of Ecclesiastes 33, verse 8. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished. Uh -huh. And he altered seasons and feasts. Now, you see that, brother? So, all right, all right, good, good, good. So now, God is saying that by His laws, those what distinguish the day. So, His birthday is that found in the knowledge of God, which are the laws. Celebrate your birthday. As a matter of fact, this is called the Josephus. 
All right? It was a historian, a Jew historian. Now, let's see what he got to say about birthdays. Right there. 26. Nay, indeed, uh -huh. the law, the does, the law uh -huh. does not permit us to make festivals. What's a festival? A, a party, a celebration, correct? Read. At the birth of our children. At the birth of what? Our children. Of, of, of what we call it today, birthday. It says that it does not, what? Permit the, the festivals or the partying of what? The birth of our children. Because guess what? What happens during birthdays? Because many of us say what? Oh, I'm just celebrating life. But how often on your birthday do you actually give the most out thanks? It's all about me, 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 That's correct? Right. That's all it's about. Right? Brother, right? It's all about me, right? Hey, we're going to do what I want to do today. We walk around with money, with, uh, money pins uh, <laughs> on our shirts, right? It has nothing to do with nothing else but yourselves. We are making ourselves gods. You see what I'm saying? And that is what? Idolatry. Hey, Cap, you ready for that book? Okay. This is from the Satanic Bible, right? About religious holidays, uh -huh. and it says Satanic. It says the highest of all holidays in the Satanic religion is the date of one's own birth. Mm. Right. right. Read that again. Right. The highest, the highest of all holidays in the Satanic religion is the date of one's own birth. This is in direct contradiction to the holy of holy days of other religions. The Satanist feels, why not really be honest and if you're going to create a God in your image, why not create that God as yourself? That's mm. right. Despite the fact that some of us may not have been wanted or at least we're not particularly planned, we're glad even if no one else is that we're here. You should give yourself a pat on the back. Buy yourself whatever you want. Treat yourself like the king or God that you are. And generally celebrate your birthday, which is as much pomp and ceremony as possible. All right, so y'all see that? Birthdays is what? Self-worship. It has right. nothing to do with the Most High God. It has everything to do with you and yourself. Now, if we say that we are Christians or Christ-like, why are we doing the same thing that a satanic worshiper does? Does that make any sense? That makes no sense whatsoever. We're confused. Now, let's go to, uh, remember, that's self-worship. That has nothing to do with the Most High God. There's no scripture that tells us to, uh, to celebrate our birthday. You knew that, bro? You knew that? We should not be celebrating uh, our birthday whatsoever. Where say that all? Uh, I didn't. That's it. Verse 22. Verse 22. <laughs> Second Maccabees chapter 7 and 22. Second Maccabees chapter 7 verse 22. I cannot tell how he came into my womb. Uh huh. For I neither I neither gave you breath nor life. Uh huh. Neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. So this mother of Israelite, okay, she was of Israel. She said that she has no idea how the baby is made within the womb, right? Read on. But doubtless, the creator of the world. The most high God, read. Who formed the generation of man. Uh -huh. And found out the beginning of all things. Uh -huh. Will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again as he now regards not your own selves for this, for his mm -hmm. law's sake. So you see that? It has nothing to do with us whatsoever. The Most High God is the one that gave us life, okay? And we must do what he say do. And there's no scripture, no law that tells us to celebrate his birthday. Right. You know, is, it, uh, is it salvation only to the Jews? All right. It's salvation only to the Jews. Because, now, let's go to because, the Jews. Uh, first because the Jews, then the Gentile. Okay, let's first get there. the Jews. The Gentile is who? Then the Gentile, the non Jew. The non Jew? All right. Let's go to Luke. Bring it out, bring it out. We got something for that. New Testament. 
New Testament, correct? Luke. The book of Luke is what? The New Testament, right? Yes. Sir. Luke 1 and 68. Let's Bring start it out. There. Luke chapter 1, verse 60, 67. 67, okay. And his father, Zacharias, uh -huh. was filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Zachariah was filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Read. And prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of, who? of Israel. Which is who? This nation right here. That's right. He said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. This is the New Testament. Read on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. That's possessive. Let's say his people. God came to the Lord God of Israel, visited his people. Not Moab, not Ammon, not Ishmael. You understand? Not Esau, but who? His people, the Israelites. You know. And has raised up a horn of salvation. A who? A horn of salvation. One more time. Horn of salvation. For who? For us. For, and for us. Who? The children of Israel, brother. You listening? Salvation for us. The Lord God of Israel raised up salvation for us, the Israelites. Read on. In the house of his servant David, uh -huh. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, Read on. which have been since the world began. So the house of David meaning what? Judah. Christ came from the lineage of Judah. You understand what I'm saying? That's Read right. That we. That who? That we. That we. Not all nations, but we. Read. Should be saved from our enemies. So the Israelites must be saved from their enemies. So how is salvation for all nations if one nation must be saved from their enemies? That's right. right. That doesn't make any sense. That's right. You see what I'm saying? One nation must be saved from the rest. Now, earlier we said our enemies are who? Uh, the other nation. Other so nation. the Israelites must be saved from what? Those other nations. That's, That's right. salvation. Read on. Let's go on that. That we should be saved from our enemies uh -huh. and from the hand of all them, I'm sorry, all that hate us. Now, what's that slave ship? Because it say that we must be saved from those that hate us. Now, let me show you some hatred. That's right. Look at Get this hatred up. right here. We got yokes of iron around our neck. Get up. Is that hatred? Yeah. Would our friends do that? That's right. It's saying that we must be saved from our enemies. That's right. We gotta be saved from something. What do the white man uh, need to be saved from? That's you know, right. Explain that to me. Everybody I wants to question. include all nations, but we are the ones who are, um that deal with this stuff. I got a question. What you got, bro? We gotta be saved from our enemies. Man. Correct. But uh, it's a question. Are we their enemies? Are we are there our enemies? That's a good question. Now. Um, let's go to Psalm 83. Let's go to Psalm 83, because that's a good question. Matter of fact, matter of fact, where's the one that says um? Alright. Alright, got it. Psalm 55, 21. Psalm chapter 55, verse 20. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. You see that? You see that? So it said we have peace with the so-called what? The Indians. We came with peace to the white man. But what did they return us with? Read on. He has broken his covenant. His covenant. They have broken many covenants. There was hundreds that they broke, right? With our brothers and sisters. Read. The word, words of his mouth were smoother than butter. So they come with the cross. They come with saying that uh, 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 we love all people. They do it even today. They say that we God loves all. They say that. Jesus Christ is a white man, but they are still shooting us down in the streets. They have the word that's smoother than butter, but read on. But war was in his heart. But war is in their minds. They want to kill us. Even though they come with smooth words, they still want to, what, destroy us. Read on. His words were softer than oil, uh -huh. yet were they drawn, yet were they drawn swords. You see that? So God is telling us, that these nations, specifically the white man, he come with these smooth words. He come with the treaties. These are uh, religions that say it's for all of us. But yet, there's war in their hearts. Yet, they still shooting us down in the streets. Yet, we still have no reparations for anything. Yet, we are still stuck in the ghettos with no type of help, no relief whatsoever. Okay, let's go to Psalm, yeah. Psalm 83, 83 verse one. Uh -huh. Keep not thou silence, O God. 
Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies. By who? Thine enemies. So, there it is right there. It says, thine enemies read. Make a tumult. Uh -huh. And they that hate thee. They that hate thee read. Have lifted up the head. They lifted up their head in pride. So God has enemies, which makes them our enemies. Right. Okay, because we are the children of God. Right. So he said that his enemies, which are our enemies, which are the other nations, they say that they have lifted up their head in pride. Read on. They have taken crafty counsel uh -huh. against thy people. So they've taken what? Crafty counsel against thy people. So let's explain that. The council, the crafty council. Now, we have lost our heritage. Okay, we have no idea of who we are whatsoever. You see what I'm saying? We're thinking that we're black Americans. We're thinking that we're Jamaicans. We're thinking that we're Haitians and Puerto Ricans. That are not, that's not our nationality. Right. But why would they do so? Why would they do such a thing? Huh? No, so we don't but, is that our, but is that our salvation though? You said what? Is that our salvation? Keeping God's law, that's our salvation. Right. You understand what I'm saying? God is going to return for those who have repented and uh, keep God's law. That's your salvation. Yes, yes. Well, you hear? Okay, let's go back to a real quick point. Because salvation is not for all nations. It's only one nation. It's only one nation who has the right to salvation. Because again, let me ask you. We are the ones that have been uh, with yokes around our neck. Okay, we've been in the cotton fields, right? We have been working from sun up to sundown, right? That was us. Was the white man um, um, in slavery? The Japanese man, were they in slavery like this? Yeah, no. So who would, what would they need saving from? Let me ask you that. Say that again. What would these, what would these nations need saving from? Themselves. Themselves? What do you mean? That's they're white. The, the who? The Jews are white? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. If he said that the Jews are white, y'all agree with that? No. no. Let's get the scripture though. Let's no, get the scripture. No. Revelation. Yeah. Let's start no. We get that to we go to uh Revelation 2 and 9. Wow. Revelation 2 and 9. Bring it out. Because the brother asked, the brother said, right? That the Jews are white. No. Let's see what the Bible gotta say about that. Let's see what God said. Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation chapter 2. Verse 9. Uh -huh. And tribulation. He said, God knows our what? Our works and tribulation. Uh huh. And poverty. And poverty. Who are the people that's in poverty, brother? Who's in poverty? Let's look around. Who's in poverty right now? Who's in the ghetto? Who's strung out on dope? Who's in the welfare office? Who? The black people, right? We know. But thou art rich. But thou art rich. God said, despite of all that, you are rich. Why? Because you have a chance to get the kingdom of God. That's right. right. All these nations. We know. And I know the blasphemy. The blasphemy. What does that mean? Blasphemy. What does that word mean? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. It means the lie. So God said, I know the lie. Of them. Of them. So somebody's lying right now. God is saying, I know that. Somebody is lying. Read. Of them which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. So who say that they are Jews now today? The who? The white people. They say that they are the Jew-ish. The name itself, that gives it away. They say that they are Jew-ish. So let's say I say, I'm going to meet you around noon-ish. What does that mean? That means like noon on the dot? That means somewhere around noon. Meaning not exactly noon, but somewhere around it. The Jews right. are saying we're something like the Jews, but we are not the Jews. That's They're letting right. us know that. Right. Read. They say that they are Jews? And are not, uh -huh. but are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. That's right. Synagogue of Satan. They are the devil. What does devil mean? Deceiver. They have been lying to us for years and years and years. That's, That's right. right. They are pretending to be you. While you're stuck thinking that you're Gentiles, they are pretending to be you right now. Shalom, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ.
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.